My topic today is the furtherance of the gospel, and the text is Philippians 1, 12. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Now this whole letter, Paul has written from prison. And he was in prison because he was preaching the gospel. Now that might sound like we're getting off on the wrong foot since we're talking about the furtherance of the gospel, but that's just what it sounds like. So all of Paul's letters are just as far reaching, if not more, than all of his travels were because his letters are what we still read and benefit from today. And then I wanted also to add that four of his letters were written from prison, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon. And all of that goes to say that the word of God is not bound, as he said in 2 Timothy 2.9. This is just the nature of the gospel. It excels and nothing is going to or can stop it. The furtherance of the gospel is God's work. If men were in charge, there wouldn't even be a gospel. Adam and Eve would have been created and everything would have gone on forever, happily ever after. But God has not done it that way. He has worked everything out to show his great power and wisdom and the work of the gospel is no exception. God is the drive behind this work and since he didn't make everything happen perfectly like men would say it happened perfectly, he has done a lot of behind the scenes working to where everything works out for the good of his plan. But God isn't the only one that's involved with this plan. He has employed men like Peter and Paul to preach. And because they are truly committed, they, think, they say things like Paul did in Romans 15, 20, I strive to preach the gospel. Amen. Men plant and water and God is the one who gives the increase. But planting and watering is not a small job. God has called us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now a call like that requires dedicated workers and that is exactly what God has made. Amen. Paul's whole life was dedicated to preaching the gospel. And a little bit after our text in Philippians 1:23. It says, For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you for all your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming unto you again. Paul was willing to stay in this world and to help all of these brethren to increase in the gospel instead of going to be with Christ, since that was the will of God. And also, Paul did not only preach and help other people. He was a, like a giant in all of these things. He, he was very strong. Everything that Paul did in himself and in other people increased the gospel. That's what God can do whenever he has men like this. Everything that they do can contribute to this work. Now, thankfully, God has not called us all to be Paul's because we would never be able to fill that responsibility. But he does have works for all of us to do. And they're not just easy little jobs that God has given us just to keep us busy. We are a part of the furtherance of the gospel. Now, sometimes people may think that you can only preach the gospel to, lo to the lost or people that have fallen away. But if that were true, then no one would be able to stay in Christ. You do start with the milk of the word. You are drawn by the gospel. But whenever you can have the meat, you don't throw the milk away. No one can ever live without the gospel. Amen. Every time someone believes, it increases the gospel. But every time someone's knowledge of the gospel increases, that also aids in the furtherance of the gospel. Amen. Paul was strong, and he held up the gospel. Now there are other strong men holding it up, but they won't be here forever. So 
everyone has to keep growing up and to continue to hold it up. Because God has set us up to be lights, to shine into the darkness in the world, and to preach the gospel and to build up the brethren. I thought of an illustration of a steam engine. It burns coal to keep it going. And the, so the train is the gospel. And we are shoveling the coal, if we can say it that way. But God is the one that keeps the fire going. So whether you are pressing on in the gospel and sharing it, or if you're not, it's going to keep going. So you have to decide if you're going to keep going with it. So hold on and keep working to increase yourself and the God and in the gospel, and we will not de be disappointed, nor will God in the magnitude of the gospel in us and everyone else. <laughs>